Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. For these projects, you're going to need some shower curtain rings. For this next project, we're going to start with a single shower curtain ring. Next, I'm going to place some hot glue on the glue from my glue gun onto the shower curtain ring. I'm gonna give it a decent amount. And then I'm gonna go ahead and angle it and attach it to the shower curtain ring. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put some hot glue onto the side. And then I'm going to get next to the first one and I'm gonna lean it out as well. So setting it out next to it and letting it cool. So the cooling is the worst of it and you could use other glues. So you can use hot glue, you can use silicone, you can use E6000, you can use whatever glue you want to use, but the key is waiting for it to dry between each step. And you could prop these up if you wanted to, um, it's just waiting for them to cool. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of these around the bottom and show you what it looks like. Now that the initial shape is done, I'm gonna go ahead and put another level on in the cracks between each of the ones and glue it in and let it cool. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Now the design is done. So you could leave it like this, but I'm gonna do something else with it. Now you could easily leave this plain, but I'm gonna be using Rust-Oleum metallic finish in the color copper to paint it. And all I'm gonna do is give it a nice coat and I don't, I'm, I'm not even looking for it for myself to be perfect. It's gonna go in and out and then I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry completely. Now, if I wanted to, I could give it less paint, kind of give it more of a mirror glass look with the copper paint and that would be another solution for you as well. But I'll go ahead and finish this up. We're gonna let it dry completely before moving on. For this first project, I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue onto the ring and then I'm going to place a piece of twine onto the ring and wait for it to cool. So now what you do is you go through pulling the twine through and getting it nice and tight to each other. So you just keep wrapping it around and around until it gets nice and tight. We're going to go all the way around the shower curtain ring. So once you're done, you just want to fill up this end part here. I've done that. And again, you could use ribbon or yarn for something like this too, but we're just going to go ahead and cut this and glue this into place. So I've cut the twine and I'm just gonna add some hot glue in here and then wait for it to cool. So I've just got a bunch of flowers from the dollar store here and I'm just gonna pull off one of the heads and I'm gonna work with that. And then I'm gonna take my twine shower curtain ring. I'm gonna put a little glue on it and then I'm going to place my flower onto the shower curtain ring and I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that to cool. Now I have a super cute napkin ring and it's ready for display. Now for this next project, there's so many possibilities for it, but we're gonna start by just setting them up this way. I'm a big daisy fan, so I'm going to be inspired by a daisy for this project. So I'm gonna go around like this and now I'm gonna hot glue all of this into place. Now that the shape's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do the next step. Now for this one, I'm gonna use Rust-Oleum white paint. I'm gonna go ahead and again, you could color this any color you want. So I'm just gonna give it a nice coat 
And then I'm gonna let it dry completely before moving on to the next step. So have fun with colors and change it up. So now that the design is dry, I've got these little two inch mirrors and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put it on the center here. So it needs a little hot glue to hold it up. So I'm gonna give a little ledge right here. And then I'm gonna wait for that to cool because this is just gonna be something that helps hold it on this side because this side sticks in. So we just need a little bit on this side or it'll kind of fall in there and be lopsided. So I'm just gonna add a little hot glue in there and then wait for it to cool. So we have something to set it on. And then in addition to that, we're gonna go ahead and add some hot glue on this side to kind of help hold the mirror as well. So and we'll do that. And we're gonna place the mirror on the top and I'm gonna hold it like this so it doesn't fall in there and I'm gonna wait for it to cool. And then we'll be ready to hang it up. And I hope this inspires you to create some shower ring decor of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chatscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.